Hello there, welcome back to another NRG and uh, I think my final tennis one for a while now had to finish on my favourite tennis game as we see this lovely little mode 7 PO, POV of the ball Super Tennis on the Super Nintendo 1991 fantastic game, this um, the, my favourite uh, tennis game got this when I got my Super Nintendo, it was the one of the first games I got. It is a it was a launch title to the system, and um, I was blown away at the time on uh, how quick and fluid it is. It seems um, <laughs> it, I just love the style of it. Very a little bit of an anime style, but um, it's not overly complicated. But it's got everything I, I want to see in the tennis. So it's got the tournament there, doubles, nice bit of multiplayer going on. Course, single exhibitions. Plenty of the usual suspects here. Mm, are the boys in blue? No, 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 no police here. I'm always John. I always pick John. He kind of, all these players kind of reminiscent of um, bygone tennis players. Their, their look is uh, very familiar. Standard tennis rules as well. Pick your set, just one set today. And the three courts. And a very snazzy little showy animation there with the ball bouncing. Which I always like that. Very nice. Many a time I've played this game with my brother. Um, it was one of the most played games in the house uh, for two player. We had Super Tennis Battles. So, uh, as you, like where? Cartoon style, clearly, but um, as you can see, there's no messing around with this game. It's quick. Very quick. Ah. It moves along, a fair old lick, and you do it. It's absolutely completely reactive. There's no anticipation here, like I've said in pre other tennis games. It's you have to press the button exactly when you want to hit the ball. Be there and hit it. Oh, not ah. <laughs> came to the net there. Net play. A selection, loads of shot selections in this. Absolutely loads. So it makes for lots of decent shot making around the court. Oh yes, Super Nintendo showing off here with this court rotation. Completely unnecessary, but uh, nice to look at for a couple of times. And you can always skip it. But like I was saying, there's loads of shot selections in this. Um, you've got your standard shots, Play. your backhands, your forehands, and everything else that will automatically adapt, as well as your your, your, your um, volleys. Um, if you um, progress towards the net, probably on the service line, you will automatically switch to um, volley. If you're using a standard backhand forehand shot, oh, just hit the net there, git. But you can also swing the ball, hit the ball hard with a swing with, with a topspin shot at the net. So and you've also got the slice shot, which does the same, uh, sort of a softer volley at the close of the net. These are also used in a serve, depending on what type of serve you got. But the brilliant thing about this is that you can use the shoulder buttons to put curls on the ball, Play. put a swerve on the ball, and that's during cross-court pass or oh I missed the smash and I completely missed the volley and that was terrible so that creates it opens up a lot of different shots with that ability to swerve the ball and you can the ball will hit um, obey your commands on the d-pad as well you push down it will be a short one and vice versa and again as always in all tennis games it's much more difficult to play on the top than it is on the bottom but saying that um, it's clear and defined um, and it's just so crisp and slick I think slick is the word to use it runs along a very quick pace, a very rapid pace and you just get into it really well, really quickly Play. and there's a few gags put in there and there's, the voiceover is quite nice I love the camera angle, I think this is a perfect camera angle for, there you go, little ball boys even. Even the ball boys on this. Brilliant. Yeah, the camera angle I think is great. I mean, it, it caters for both the... Oh, <laughs> that was dodgy, wasn't it? That should have been out. Um, it caters for the, both the play at the bottom and the play at the top, which is always good. And the camera moves well as uh, as well. It follows the, follows the action good. <laughs> oh, Love 40. Bloody hell, mate. Come on. You need to improve, Mr. Maya. Oh, lovely slice across there. That was a be exquisite shot. Play. 
So I'm, I'm, ooh, ooh. a lot of the players have strengths and weaknesses. Um, John, I think you, you can look down the stats uh, in the options. I think at one point and uh, see what the pros and actually no, that's, that's just a lie. When you complete the circuit game, that's right. When you complete the circuit game, it has a, a profile gallery at the end when the credits are rolling, and it will tell you what the strengths and weaknesses of all the players are. And there's also a plethora of players which are... Oh, you lucky git. The net cord is favouring him. There's a plethora of players that you can't play as uh, scattered around the game. And they're all, again, <laughs> characters of different strengths and weaknesses. Some of them are absolutely ridiculously hard. There's also a secret um, island-dwelling bald man who is the hardest character in the game which you can access if you... Oh, what a shot! access if you complete all the tours with the maximum amount of wins so there's plenty of depth to it, the tour can last ages as well can last right. a long time, but password system comes to our rescue and like I say it's best played two player desk though because it's a lot lot of fun two player oh, you slowed the serve up there and I completely missed it control wise it's great it's, I'm sure like you saw earlier, there's, a, there's oh, there's, I'm sure they deliberately put this sort of like um, umpire glitch in, where the ball will clearly be outside the line, but will not be called out. I think they deliberately put that in there to stir some multiplayer lo um, arguments or something. It's quite funny when that happens. Never happens on the uh, service. The service is very strict. Maybe not side on the outside lines. Come on, boy. Oh, oh, that was close. Play. Come on, there we go. Oh shit, well, that's a bloody good return actually. He comes into the net quite close. This bloke. They do behave differently. Some, some of these guys. There he goes out. Some of these guys always come into the net, and uh, so you always work out that a down the line pass is one to go. Yeah, there's the obviously the crowd celebrations. So there's um. <laughs> Missed that, that was terrible. Um, they get upset sometimes and they celebrate, yeah, and no, and all this. I think in the Japanese version they swear in Japanese, I believe, uh, but not in the European and American versions. That was a nice little lob uh, volley by him. Sugars. Skip the turn. Well, on the the hard the the court right. selection thing, there's a there's a there is more of a variance uh, in courts uh, around the tour. Uh, Obviously, hard courts can differ in colour, so can clay courts. Lawn courts are generally the same. But they do, all three of them play completely differently, which, uh, which is the norm. And um, so when I first played this, these were the, these were the first, first things I, I, was, I was surprised by, because I've never come across a tennis game which had that depth, had that variance, had this playability and speed. Um, it, was a, it was a surprise, and I instantly fell in love with it, because I always loved tennis games. Ooh, how did he get that? Ooh. Is he going to... Ooh, passer. Yes. Yeah, I always loved the tennis games. So I bet him back to the 8 bits that days. Always partial to one. And this one, it, it just absolutely smacks you in the face when it came out. It really was absolutely groundbreaking. I thought it was anyway. Since then, of course, there you go. <laughs> He's upset about that. It's got the little comedy touches and the animations are just really lovely. Faultless, should just, did I say? <laughs> oh, I see. Slow, high spin serve there. And that's the great thing about this. You can position these serves very accurately. Oh. It obeys commands very well. Oh dear, excuse me. In the crowd there. Two frame moving out around. Oh, has he got the. No, I've, I've got the advantage. Come on! Oh, come on! Yeah, I'll oh, see you up there. <laughs> Hawkeye on that one, please. Dodgy. <laughs> Serving for the set. Yes, I always like John because he wears a yellow T-shirt as well. And um, if you know me, you know I like the colour yellow. Oh, cheeky little git. Oh, pass on this one. Yes. <laughs> this guy's not one of the best, I must admit. But you play some of the guys. I like feel I think he's one of the hardest characters to play against in the game. There are a few others as well, which are, are not selectable. And the same with goes for the women, of course. Just a great game. 
it really is uh, my favourite tennis game. Never been bettered. I've uh, played many, many tennis games, and um, especially in this last couple of weeks, with Wimbledon finishing now, this will be my last one for a while. So, but like I said, um, yeah, still, it's brilliant. My favourite tennis game works brilliantly. And shake hands, guys, at the end. And there we go. And you get the stats at the end as well. So all's good. Yeah, it's a great game. Um, can't fault it. Super Tennis 1991 on the Super Nintendo. Thank you for watching and Nova Bug out.